Today we celebrate the winter solstice as the sun moves into the cardinal sign of Capricorn. In Capricorn, the sun is industrious and hardworking and we feel strongly motivated to reach our goals. The winter solstice marks the point of the earth tilting farthest away from the sun, corresponding with the beginning of winter in the northern hemisphere. From this point onwards, our days will get a little longer with more sunlight as we move away from the darkness of the shortest day of the year. As the sun moves through the last few signs of the zodiac, we make life changes in preparation for a rebirth at the time of the spring equinox. The energy of the sun's transit in Capricorn helps us to manage our responsibilities and focus on success and achievement. It's a good time to honor our ancestors and spend time with our fathers or father figures. We can also set the intention today to heal ancestral wounds that run down the paternal line. The winter solstice marks the beginning of the Norse festival of Yule or Yol, which celebrates the rebirth of Sunna, the sun goddess. Traditionally, the festival lasted from the solstice to around the 12th of January and included a sacrifice to ensure good fortune in the new year. The celebration includes drinking, feasting and storytelling around the burning of Yule logs, which symbolise the sun burning brighter and warding off evil. A drinker Yule means to drink Yule and celebrate our gods, ancestors and life. The Norse god Odin also has the name of Yulfader, which means the Yule Father. I encourage you to research Yule and the pagan origins of Christmas. Gifts don't need to be extravagant. A little praise is often enough. Sharing food and something to drink has secured many friendships. From the Havamal, verse 52. This is an extra special winter solstice, as it occurs around the same time as the great conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter in Aquarius. These great conjunctions only come around every 20 years, making this a rare event. When Saturn, the greater malefic, and Jupiter, the greater benefic, come together, the conjunction heralds the beginning of a new cycle for all of us here on planet Earth. Of course, the conjunction also signifies the battle between good and evil, light versus the darkness. Saturn is the traditional ruler of Aquarius, making his energies dominant here. Aquarius is the sign of freedom, but also everything futuristic and sci-fi, such as artificial intelligence and globalism. The conjunction signifies a battle for each of us here on Earth to retain our freedoms and sovereignty. Draw upon the traditions and spiritual practices of your people and ancestors to win this spiritual battle. This conjunction, the energies of this conjunction, will extend across the next 20 years. And we are in the, in the midst of a battle between darkness and light. I would like to wish all of my clients, all of my followers, a Merry Yule. And I want to thank you all so much for the support that you've shown me during one of the most difficult years 
of our lives.